Kate, are you busy at all? I really need to get out of this house. Okay, yeah, I'll see you there soon. Bye. Times back then, huh? <laughs> so, what has everyone gotten up to today? I just worked today. It was probably the most boring and unproductive day I have had in a long time. Mm -hmm. Definitely say I was a little eager to come see you guys. <laughs> yeah, I know those days. Yeah. The kids in my class were flying like a hundred miles an hour. Jeez. Made the day fly by. <laughs> well, it's been my weekend since yesterday. So this morning I took some breakfast. I chilled on the couch. You know. <laughs> That's great, Ryan, and uh, how was that? You know, best time ever. <laughs> Are you all right, Haley? You've been acting kind of quiet today. Yeah, I don't know. Some weird shit's been going on lately. What kind of weird stuff? Weird occurrences like deja vu, because that shit fucks with my head a lot. <laughs> No, it's nothing like that. I've just been getting these crates delivered to my house and there's no return address on them or anything like that. It's just a message on the top that says a gift for you. Sounds like somebody's really into you, being a creep about it. Did you open the crates yet? Yeah, I opened both the crates, but after I opened them, these weird things started happening. I don't know, I'd see like strange looking people in my house and then they would just disappear after a few seconds. And out of the corner of my eye, like black silhouette figures just standing there staring at me. It's been fucked up. How often do you see any? Ah, you've been watching too many of those scary movies you love so much. No, it's not scary movies, it's not a dream, it's not anything like that. It's actually happening to me and it's freaking me out. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know how to see both of this. Something was coming out of the crate. It rose in mid-fucking air right in front of my eyes, so please take this seriously because I've been fucking terrified. Was there someone else in your house? Never mind, I'm going through. Don't listen to Ryan. We all know how he is. Why don't I come sleep over tonight so you're not alone? You can hopefully get all your mind off all this shit. Comfortable and feel okay. safe. Alright, yeah. That'd be too okay. Hey guys, I'm ready to go over to Haley's tonight. I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye! Later, guys! Sorry, Haley. I don't think she heard you. That's alright. We'll see her again. That was very odd. Do you think she's gonna be okay? I've never seen Haley act like that before. I don't think I have either. Do you think I'll get a crate delivered to my house? <laughs> you are the crate, Ryan. Oh, that means so much to me. <laughs> Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Sorry that we left so soon. Oh, that's okay, hon. I just hope you're doing okay. Thanks, babe. Would you like a drink? Sure, I'd love one. What do you got? All I got are vodka coolers right now. Which is pretty basic for you. <laughs> Haley! Are you okay? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm all good. Are you sure? You don't look all right. Yeah, I'm okay. My head just kind of hurts.
Is that the crate? Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. I don't even want to look at the thing anymore. So what is it even doing to you exactly? Like, have you talked to anybody about this? No, you're the only person that I've told. Maybe we should get you some help, Haley. I don't need help. What the fuck was that? I think I should probably get going. No, no, no. It's it's fine. You, we can just watch movies and stuff. It'll be it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Freezing outside. Nobody's out there except this crate. And I, I pick it up and I bring it inside. And uh, there's a message on the top that says a gift for you. It looked like it was written in blood. Um, the crate, it, it, was, it was disgusting. Like, it looked gross. It felt gross. And on top of that all, it smelled horrible. Like I've never smelled this smell in my life before. But it was not good. I, I, I'm not even too sure why I brought it inside. But I, I brought it into my living room here. And I, I'm looking at it. And then I open it up. And I just get this feeling of of dreadfulness like flowing upon me like punching me in the face pretty much and then everything started to get a little cold and things just didn't feel normal anymore and so it started to freak me out I put the lid back onto the crate and I left it outside because there's no way in fucking hell I was going to have that smell in my house. So here I am trying to think of who would send this crate to my house and especially have it delivered in the middle of the night. But anyways, about at th four o'clock the next day I get home from work and there's another crate sitting outside of my house and so I bring it inside and I open it up again and 
there was nothing inside of it. Same thing. Horrible smell. These weird feelings rushing through my veins. And then that's when the terrifying things started happening. I would try and get things done around the house and try and distract myself from this crate except these weird cloaked people would be inside my house just staring at me so terrifying I would close my eyes and I would open them again and it would be gone like, as soon as it was gone, what a sigh of relief. But, unfortunately, it wouldn't end there. Creepy things that I would see would haunt me around my house. And put me in a state where I'm curled up in a ball on my bed cramping myself up because I'm too terrified to even look around my house. And so, the next day, I get another crate, the third crate, delivered to my house. I've had enough at this point because things just kept getting weirder and weirder and I physically couldn't take the stress anymore because there's something overpowering my emotions making me feel horrible inside and so it made me upset I I grabbed this crate as soon as I saw it I I, I smashed it on the ground I, I broke it into a bunch of pieces and then I, I came back inside, I, I was doing some chores, and I go outside to take the ball of recycling out, and there's another crate sitting at my door. I smashed that one. The next day, I smashed that one. Then the next day, I smashed that one again. All those crates that I broke every crate killed a family member of mine within the span of 48 hours They can't even explain the deaths. They would... They would... Get into this trance... And they would either... Jump out of the window or walk off a building or... Slit their throat or anything like that. Turn this off, I'm done. Oh, Haley. Do you remember anything from last night? It's coming. Wait, what did you say? It's right behind you. What the hell, Haley? Are you sure? I had to go get you 
from outside last I night. I wasn't outside. You must be going crazy. I'm not going crazy. Okay, look. There's something I've got to tell you. I think we should leave. What? I didn't mean to upset you. Get out of my fucking house. Wow. Okay, fine. Whatever, I guess. You're the one who wanted support through all this, and now you're kicking me out? Haley, can I please just tell you something? Hey Steph, I was just calling to make sure you and George are still doing okay. Okay cool, I just wanted to make sure you guys were doing alright. Have a great rest of your night. Bye. Thank you. 